just make it a quick video about a book I just finished reading. It's called uh, Bruce Lee, A Life by Matthew Polly. It was a really interesting book. Um, when I was a teenager, when I was you know, 13, 14 years old, I was a really big Bruce Lee fan. And I, you know, I watched Enter the Dragon and read about him in magazines like Black Belt Magazine, stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, I've read a lot of things about Bruce Lee over the years, and they've all pretty much been the same. You know, they just kind of fell into the, the legend of who he was. You know, he was this larger than life kung fu practitioner that, you know, trained really hard and all that. And all that stuff seems to have been true. But, um, I know this book really went into a lot of stuff that I never knew about. Like, I didn't know that, uh, Bruce Lee, like, regularly used cannabis. You know, marijuana and hash. I would have never, ever thought that. I didn't know that um, he had quite a number of affairs. He ran around with his wife. I, I didn't know that. Um, just uh, a lot of really interesting things. I don't know, he was a lot more human than I thought he was. I always thought he was kind of like, you know, his character in End of the Dragon, where he was just this man on a mission who just trained Kung Fu and did nothing else. But, um... I don't know, like he was a bit of a bully when he was a kid. He grew up wealthy. He um, got into some trouble in school. Um, I don't know, like I watched, I think it was called Dragon the Bruce Lee Story, which was supposedly a biography of Bruce Lee. It came out in like the, the 90s. And it, they, were, they were nothing like each other. I mean, those, they're so different. You know, I didn't know Bruce Lee wore glasses. Um, a lot of the other stuff, it's, uh, you know, about like you'd think it'd be. I mean, he was a really, really tough guy. He did train really, really hard. He was really big into lifting weights and, you know, doing physical exercise back when, you know, most martial artists didn't really do that. But, uh, you know, really, really interesting book. I'd love to see a movie one day made of his actual life. Because it's really fascinating. But, uh, yeah. If you're interested in Bruce Lee at all, I highly recommend this book. It's written by this guy, Matthew Polly. He's the same guy that wrote American Shaolin, which is another really interesting book. And um, Tapped Out, which I'm not really all that into. Um, like, I really like traditional martial arts, but I'm not really all that into uh, MMA and UFC and that kind of thing. I don't really have a problem with them. You know, I mean, I know the guys that do it are really tough and all. I'm not saying they're bad forms or anything. I just I just like traditional martial arts better. I have more of an interest in that. But, uh, yeah, really interesting book. It's about 500 pages and uh, really good, good read. Um, so, if you're into Bruce Lee, I recommend it.